that is why I leave my reactions in it because my reaction to watching this is but I have to give everything a try. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be watching Mushishi. I just spun the wheel. It's my first time actually placing the clip of the wheel in the beginning. So if you're new to my channel, then now you know the wheel chooses the enemy out of recommendations for me. I'm actually the one that put Mushishi on the wheel. So my reaction to it actually landing on Mushishi was, I don't know, because like no one actually requested it, but I am interested in what it's about. So the, what I'm trying to do with this channel is just watch everything. But I feel like it'll be more efficient this way if I just let the wheel spin at the beginning. I know what I'm watching and we can get through this intro as quickly as possible. I'm going to start with, uh, I think Mushishi has like 12 episodes. Let me quickly check. But I'm going to be watching like three episodes. Um, I think I should read the description and then we'll just go on from there. I'm going to be releasing this reaction every uh, Friday, like the same day today, uh, every week. Well, today when I uploaded, I don't know when you're watching this, but every week at the same time, except for next week because I gonna be busy i have a second channel which i'll be uploading a video basically like it's gonna be me doing whatever i'm doing which is why i'm busy and i can't record next week but yeah so my second channel will be in the description i never promote it no one knows of it nothing's on there so that's my first video on there basically like me taking the camera recording whatever i'm doing which is why i can't um, record next week hopefully it's just next week i don't want it to drive on for too long oh 26 episodes i don't know why i thought of 12 popularity it's very popular it's very popular so i'm excited i mean like anything can be very popular but like disliked by the same lot of people the Mushishi and Mushishi the next chapter what is that this is the shadow of the dark this is only one episode okay i just remember i just know what i have to watch after i finish that and then we have Mushishi zoku show oh so it's like a season two then maybe but it came out 2014 and this anime came out 2005 oh okay so Mushishi itself never mind 26 episodes this should have been on the 40 or more episodes list. This is a lot of episodes. Because, like, I decided to separate the wheels in anime that's 26 episodes or less, or 40 episodes and more. This would go with the 40 episodes or more category. I didn't know that there's, like, a season 2 or something. Well, since we landed on it, I'm just, I'll just leave it. I didn't know. Um, I'll watch everything. The special, uh, first I'll watch the Mushishi, and then we'll get to the next chapter. Oh, and then there's this special. I'm gonna be on this for a minute. Okay, so I'll watch the sushi, then I'll watch the special, then I'll go on to the next chapter, and then I'll watch these specials. Unless there's a different way I should watch it, but yeah. Wait, let me see what Mushishi's under, just in case I have to know how I'm editing it. Split screen or normal. Okay, not Mushishi, but Mushi Next Passage is under Sony Music Entertainment and it plugs with one of them, so I should be careful. Whoa, the subtitles are so. Cool. I have to focus for at least the first reaction so I understand what I'm watching. <laughs> My grab can just find you. The sore feet song. <sighs> Wonder if I'll enjoy. Mushi she. Ginko is his name. Are the mushi like little fairies? He's a mushishi. He must be. This red is awesome. Different. The great zone. All these birds are from. There's no way these majestic birds are outside my window. I will say, boy, what are you doing? But he doesn't even know what's going on. Okay, he knows. He knows. He's like, oh, damn it. He's gonna escape. Why should the door so wide open? So you try to write it with your left hand. So what is he? Sorry, I'm, I'll, I'll just soak up everything to understand. Even as his grandma's gone, he has to stay hidden because of his abilities. But why can't he? I mean, like, if you don't use your left hand, you have to be drawn up and out of place, right and up and out of place. Oh, 
Put your right hand. Oh. I mean, if you're bored and you're here by yourself, I'd be drawn to it, if, even if Grandma told me not to. Oh, when Grandma's wife. But she said, Grandpa wasn't having it, it must be because of the horrible powers. It's not a horrible gift, I mean, look how pretty they look for now. I was just about to say, it's big and it's just his. Ah, Mushi Pin. I thought she was calling him Mushi Pin. I think he didn't tell the kid the full story that these Mushi, some of them are dangerous, like this one. Like the ones that the harmless drawings he does are fine, but this, this girl, which he obviously didn't create. Here, ghost. Grandma? Oh, this has been from time, so it was like a recent occurrence when she died. Oh, that's how you can make it full. <gasps> you only have one color ink. So easy to break. Ah, it's actually cool. Of course, it's not normal ink. It's a perfect color, perfect glare, perfect shine. He made an actual object. I thought they just become like a little gold. The half bit that she needs, but it's just so cool. He's like, Grandma kinda cute though. <laughs> ah, I was just joking, I was just joking, how is he blushing? <laughs> so from the get go, she had. So that means she could have always seen the Mushi he'd been drawn. This is the bank of how she got split, and then she wasn't herself. But why her? Like, y'all knew she was gonna be there? And her actual grandson, like, did she have kids? Like, did they just, or did they just give her this boy? I mean, if it's overflowing, it's an endless drink of deception. Wait, so she that's when she split and then I guess she aged and then she and then he came around and she just became that grandma and that put then she never aged in. Pretty sad what happened to you, grandma? Oh, 
がないけどな。神の左手を持つ少年についても新しい噂。How did you hear about him in the first place? Oh, I wanted to read the description again because someone like me is confused. So I think he's just a human. Mushishi are those who research Mushi in hopes of understanding their place in the world's hierarchy of life. So he's a human. Think that last all of their synopsis got me confused. Like explain what a Mushishi is. They're really dragging us out to be a one, one minute and 30 second opening. I'm guessing these are his notes. So every episode, a new case involving Mushi. Suizu Nushi. Biki is someone she's keeping hostage. The light in the island. The first thing I didn't realize that was the title. I don't know why I'm all trying to vilify these innocent. I'm gonna just say innocent for now, kids. Okay. It just seemed creepy that she was in like the storeroom, so it makes sense. I mean, who would leave their child? She definitely was abandoned. Oh my god, nah, yeah, I'll throw those away. No, it's an island. No, no, it's an island behind our island. Wait, that doll reminds me. This whole time trying to figure out what the doll reminds me of. And it was this from Ronwa. I spent 10 minutes and I'm like, which album is it? It's an evil doll and the girl was trapped in the body and then like she couldn't speak. It's a Ronma. I'm thinking of the similarities and then when I watch it, I see that the doll looks nothing like the doll here. But it reminds me of that. Like it's about to possess somebody, this doll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Biggie, let's keep them open. I can't see. Oh. Well, how do you expect me to close my eyeballs? You want real darkness? Who wants true dark? Ugh. We don't need true darkness if we're sleeping. We don't even remember that time well anyways. Why is the Ginkgo coming? Because this girl needs true help. But true darkness. I'm gonna spend so much time in this dark room. Oh, this dies so fast. I watched one episode and my laptop was 100%. Get six minutes in the next episode, it wants to die. Ugh. I'm sorry, my laptop is an engine. I'm just gonna leave it. To get further, it's here. It gets darker. Ginkgo. So is he gonna help them from afar? He's not necessarily one-eyed, is he? Why do you listen to him then? It's a heavy door they're walking her by. He's getting too used to the darkness now. Oh, they're worried about her cursed eyes. But the fact that she still allows him to go see her. She's worried that the same thing will happen to him, which is it odd, you know, that she has concern. She doesn't know how she was cursed or got sick in the first place, so she wants to prevent the problem to her son. But she still allows him to see her so she doesn't lose the light in her soul because she's still a young, good girl. Okay, so now he's coming. So that's how he finds out where they are because he was in her, her visions of the second eyelids. Um, so yeah, of course he knows where they are. But she's all in darkness, so how would you know, know where she is? And then the first episode, how he knew where that boy is. He blew out the light because it was too bright, so what happened to him already then? Is it Ginko or is that the mom there to cuss her out? Don't cuss her out. Oh, the mom gave her the food because. This is gonna. You say you don't want to lose the light in her soul, she's gonna lose the light this way. Oh, 
it's not your fault. This mom. But. It's not your fault, but like, you understand that I just, I can't let it come back. Who called you though? Makes sense, like, if you just leave someone, if you give the, uh, mushi, uh, in their eyes what they want, darkness, it only hurts. There's, like, white hair, white clothes, like, boring colors, and his eyes just so, like, emerald, vibrant. Hmm. I was like, now, it's sad that he got it, but since he was on his way, since I saw him step through the bushes, the forest, he's more lucky. I don't know how he'll do with, that. Um, the girl and the mom just left her with the thought with like the uh beaky on her mind that she made him sick like her she's like she might cross the stream he's just tired she could have said something like that even though because she's the one that said it's not your fault so if you really wanted to believe it's not her fault you shouldn't have told her about it breathe in her and you just you keep feeding it he has both his eyes. It's just like one eye's covered. When I close like he's like, oh, so that's real. He has. Ah, uh, the they kept showing his eye that they kept saying that he has his one. So he can't be the guy. But who else could it be? He knows who Sue is. You know she hasn't met him before. He saw her with his second eyelids closed. Who else could it be? She jumped head first after what happened. She heard what happened to Biki. How would it look? It's like, like just. Oh my god, that looks like one of those things they use in music videos. I feel like the mom should witness this. Ah. So he really did have one eye. But, I, yeah, but given her official eye, what would it do? Oh, this is the look for Rushi from earlier? Who's holding the thing? Why is it shaking so much? <laughs> oh. What about her? She just needs one eye, I guess. What are these demons lurking in the woods? I can't guess any type of animal that would it would be. How? <laughs> why are you gonna open it? Now she's one-eyed like him. He said it was pretty. <laughs> Don't be drowning. Look how happy she looks. We did good. I didn't do anything, but Ginko did good. He probably has more artificial eyes. I don't know. He did the most. He's like, oh, her eye doesn't work. Takes out his, even if it's artificial. You still injected what you did to her for you to be able to see through that. How did you use your eye in the first place? Oh, I like Mushishi. It's a quiet, calm, you know, chill pace. You gotta watch these kids go through their trial and errors and then Ginko come with the solution with the karate chop. It's been pretty easy for him so far, but I feel like he's going to be tasked with these serious, um, Mushishi cases. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really looking for action. I'm looking for a good story. So some people may worry that, oh, would someone enjoy this? But I, that's someone, I, I would, I'm enjoying this. And hazy dawns I reached for you. I'm sorry if my laptop's so loud. Ugh, I, it hasn't even been a year. Mm -mm. Are these more kids? Like the the problems are always troubling kids. Wait, you see how he gave her his eye? 
it's artificial shirt, but he didn't even clean it. Like that aisle was just dirty. Cover my ears, <clears throat> the hands, and my forehead swelled up and grew four horns. Soft horns. This is actually someone who called for him and wants his help. Yeah, just quiet snow, that's very nice. It's scary now, she's just saying dead silent. Even voices often vanish. Okay, never mind, it's scary. <laughs> when you go outside in the snow and she's so quiet, it can be kind of weird and trippy. Ah! Damn. Oh, it's like snails. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that. Oh, I should have said that earlier. Who is he talking to? He's in the middle of a sentence. She just holds. Should she hold it and then. Oh! Ew, could they see it? Oh, wait, he said it looks like snails. They could see it. <laughs> Salt water works for a lot of things. It's easy for these guys, but then when he goes, when he meets the boy, it's gonna be like, whoa, why is he so far from where they just were? Oh, that's why he's separated from them. They're like, nah, grandma, this isn't like what's happening to us. This boy's a demon. Oh, this house got salt. No, uh. <laughs> the sound stopped? And then those horns of yours grow, and you begin to hear all sorts of sounds from them. <laughs> How did these horns come to be? She had horns too, I could see. Oh, all at once, I thought like gradually because he kept doing it. They don't want you to hear. Or remember. <laughs> he's so small. Wait, he's this small? He looks three. You left to make a fire in the cave? <laughs> He's so smart. Big three and all. They're trying to attack it. Oh shoot, boy, who brought you here? I didn't even realize. Get pure silence by holding your ears. Ew. 
it just sounds like shaking because I kept pushing. So the, the struggling of my, my hands. It sounds like a Navalan. Oh. A mountain? You mean the volcano? That's exactly how I'd explain it. Just like rumbling. I never heard lava before, but. This anime is so interesting. Like, that's the sound. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. And he's listening to his lava and it melts. Oh, jeez, that's still. A, his DNA is in that. He just takes pieces of what. The first episode, he took the cup. The second episode, he didn't take anything. He gave something away. And then this episode, he's taking the boy's horns. But out of all the cases, the grandma of Shin Shinda was the grandma one. No, okay, but the grandma of Shinda. I hope you get distracted. Okay, the girl in the shed and this. I like this Maho incident. That's a lot of sound. I don't think you want that bad. Without realizing until this revelation. I don't know how to explain these things. We'll let Maho do it. <laughs> I really like this Maho incident one and the girl in the shed with Biki. What was her name? Sweet? Oh, yeah, I like that stuff. And I like, I think the incident with Maho. Oh, there's actual stuff showing in the initial on the start. And this episode, which was more easy for me to understand the feeling that they, she was describing with the Lala, how I can cover my own ears, which is something I can actually uh, relate to and do myself. We just left soft horns, we go on to the alley through the pillow. Through the pillow. Oh, so I feel like whoever rests their head on their pillow. Something happens. I don't know. Ooh, I really, I really like the shishi. My favorite of the three is definitely this Maho episode with the cover in your ear. You know, I used to always like cover in my ears when I was younger, but I wanted to hear nothing. Cause like, you'd always hear some, some type of rumbling. I was always trying to hear nothing. So I would try to like not push too much, you know, just like cover it lightly, but you would always hear something. Very interesting this episode. So he helped the people in the village and then he went to Maho and he wanted to like um, understand like um, Maho's mother and like the reason for her covering her ears and how his horns came to be. And what does it mean not to hear anything? He went through all of those steps and then he let the awe go in his ears and then had Maho cover his ears to hear the volcano -ness sound, the rumbling. It came out and then he did the same thing actually remembering what his mother said because he knows he heard what he said, she said, but he just the sounds wouldn't let him think of it, wouldn't let him re recall what she actually said. And then after uh, Ginko did it, puts his hands over his ears, listens for the, the lava, the volcano sound, and um, it just, it, it melts. And that's how they get rid of it. It's so interesting. It was very interesting seeing from the first episode to this episode, um, first, second, third, the different ways the uh, Mushi are involved in itself with these humans, um, the Mushi are like uh, troubling them, how the Mushi look, the troubles they're in, you know, and then how um, Ginko is solving them, how he's explaining things, how he deals with it, what he uses, and then what he takes back, what he gives, like how he gave his eye, but he took the horn, then he took the cup, like, I wonder if maybe we'll see like where he stays, all his notes, like how they showed in the beginning of those episodes, if um, all the things, that all the people he's helped are just collected there. I was skeptical at first, but um, I really like this, this anime, and I'm, I'm being serious. I will be honest if there's an episode I didn't really like, but I don't think that'll be the case because I really liked all three episodes. The first episode was like, you know, a learning episode for me. I had to learn who Ginko was, what Mushi were, what Mushishi were, um, who he was, and all that stuff. But um, I got it, and then I could understand and enjoy the, the second and third episode. This is my type of show, and I'm excited to get through the rest of it. It's gonna take some time, because I didn't know they had like a season two and then specials. But I'll do it, um, like I mentioned in the beginning, I have a second channel and I will post a video on there um, this week coming up or someday when I won't be able to um, 
watch anything for next week. So that's the first um, uh, reaction I'm doing of Mushishi. And next week for Friday, I won't be watching it, but then I'll be back. Hopefully the week after, keeping the same schedule. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'll be on my second channel. I'll just be like taking the camera along and showing what I'm doing as I'm not here. All that stuff. And yes, I'm just going to end it here. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you didn't. If you got this far, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.